Hi, I'm Greg Watson. Welcome to this version of From the Desk of Greg. Today we're talking about methamphetamine. Just to preempt things, let's hand over to Hillary. A lifetime Black Power member is warning the country it's on the cusp of another P epidemic. Nine properties were raided by police yesterday in a major operation to clamp down on the headhunter's meth production. Community advocate and gang member Dennis O'Reilly has noticed a surge in the availability of the drug. This substance is causing us real trouble. You would think that people would know enough about it now not to go within a million miles of it. Dennis O'Reilly believes methamphetamine is now more readily available than cannabis. Hold on a second. Methamphetamine is now more readily available than cannabis? This is some scary stuff. Unbelievable. So this article just from yesterday talks about, yes, it's right there in writing, more plentiful than cannabis as far as in his opinion. Now let's look at some of the headlines from recently. This one just from January of this year. Methamphetamine worth millions, or 1.5 million found in Wellington, a mother in Nelson jailed, uh, you know, and down here it talks about the fact that just a, a young mother gets in with the wrong crowd and next thing she is being arrested and jailed for methamphetamine. And if you think your area is safe, the criminal groups are crossing from North Island to South Island and vice versa, once the stuff comes into the country, it's distributed by whatever methods they need. I mean, look at this one. $40 million worth of amphetamine seized in Auckland. Now, they only seize a tiny percentage. It's really scary. Teenager, 19-year-old, jailed for smuggling methamphetamine into the country. The markups are so big, this is a really massive problem for us. A major drug bust in Wellington just in the last 24 hours tells us that it's being spread around this region as well. So really scary stuff. Now here is an article about the peak contamination crisis that so many homes are being, uh, well it's just about as bad in scale as the leaky homes. There's a real risk that as a buyer, you buy a home that's already contaminated without even knowing it and you're going to be the one wearing that cost. So make sure if you're buying a home that you get tested for methamphetamine before purchase. Really scary. That article, all the links to all of these articles will be down below in the comments. Major methamphetamine suspect arrested, I think that's what it says, just looking over, yep, supplier arrested I should say. Um, and they, these are headlines that are all just very recent in the last month or two been sent to different addresses and concealed. Now here's, here's something that we see in our line of work. Buyers had no idea their home was a drug house. Now what can happen is sometimes nobody has any idea but then after moving in the new owners are told by some well-meaning member of the community that it was previously a drug house and there can be real problems arising from that. In this particular case it's possible a real estate agent knew a little bit about that and didn't say. So what, what do you do? Let's have a look. Meth Solutions, uh, that's a company who can provide testing at houses if you're going to buy um, or if you're looking to rent a home out and you want to know it's safe. MethMind is a fantastic product, it's like a device, a bit like a smoke alarm and here's something I really love about this. It works by notifying a call centre should any detection of methamphetamine be found in your home and the great thing about that is that this works proactively to stop people renting a home. Um, now, uh, renting a home if they're going to use drugs. 